the best and he gets sponsored. Morning guys, got set up out there, me and Colton got set up right at um, shoot time and uh, put the decoys out and basically they come out of the roost and go the opposite way. So that didn't work out, uh, we made another move. We actually split up, I went off to check some other areas, dropped Colton off, he seen some birds so he wanted to go put a stock on them. And I kept driving down the road looking and scouting and calling, trying to find some new places and stuff. but to no luck. Uh, Colton's not back. I should have gave him my walkie-talkies. I forgot I had walkie-talkies. Should have gave him those so I could know when he was ready to go. But in the meantime, since I already did my scouting and it's been like 30, 40 minutes, um, there's not much else I can go. The rest of it's private. I'm just going to do a little shoot my bow. I'm going to do a little practicing while I'm waiting on Colton. That's just beautiful up here. It's pretty cool. Someone's shooting 22s down the road, so I kind of ruined the turkeys in this area. But let's do a little practicing while we're waiting on Colton. little rusty it's amazing just like you don't shoot for like three days it's amazing how bad your technique gets off kind of makes you feel like what you're gonna feel like when you draw a bow in the morning it's a little you're a little tight and sore it could be a lot better let's try that again That's a little better. Sorry about that guys. I can't lie, that kind of threw my mind off a little bit. No, that camera's sitting right there. Well, we're 0 for 2. Try to put a stock on a couple, yeah, but right now they're so skittish from opening day. They're, they're just running. Call doesn't do any good, decoy doesn't do any good. So the only thing you can do is hopefully be at the right spot at the right time. We're gonna go try this one last place, and if not, we'll probably call it a day. I don't know. What is he doing, Stratton? Oh, he's just walking around fluffing his feathers. Well, he should just get across, though, I think.
Well, I'm being the lazy one right now. I'm sitting in the truck with a frosty Mountain Dew. Colton's making a stock. The odds are against him. That is pretty much why I decided to stay in the truck. We're using radios right now. Do they see you? a different bird. There's a fence line over there and there's public and private. But I see the tom up in the hill. That must be what Colton's talking about. He looked like he was about to drop back. Oh, they took off. They seen him. There they go. Oh, there they go. They're gone. You just see him fly off. Oh, man. Unless there's more over there. So it's hard to spot and stalk. And the reason we're even doing this right now is because they won't. They won't come in at calls or so. It's just three days after opener. It's like they're so gun shy. Call shy. Anything shy. Hey, so what happened? I seen all those turkeys going. Did you get a shot off? Yeah. Um, got within 45 yards of the gobbler and um, just couldn't get a shot off on him all I could see was his head and then he dropped down into a goalie came up the other side the rage turkey broadhead and I don't know if it's just not good on this arrow or what but it literally just took off and shot like 10 feet to the left of him oh my goodness so yeah that that was a bust would have had it if, it was a, if I had a shotgun but oh well it was a, it was a fun stock that's a bummer I know you would be missing that far to the right. It must have totally been that broadhead. That stinks, dude. Yeah, you can see it. Like, as soon as it came out of the bow, it just kicked off way to the left. So, uh, there's nothing you can do about it. I was within 20 yards of the hens. I didn't know they were right there either. They were just kind of in the brush. And when I shot at him, they just took off flying. But him and, like, two jakes took off up the hill. Yeah, I've seen the birds flying through, like I said, going off to the left. That must have been the hens running and flying through there, but... Ah, all right. Well, I guess I'll see you back at the truck here in a little bit. So my pull back was like, oh, boom. It was not even a lot of time to yeah. sit there and think about it or even aim. That's what I knew was going to be an issue with us bow hunters is, you know, always thinking if we miss, then you're like, oh, if I had a shotgun. Mm -hmm. Just went through my head. But you gotta, you gotta hold strong, Cole. Yeah, dude. I didn't feel like I was walking that long. I've climbed 85 floors today. Is that what it says? Uh-huh. 85 floors. What watch is that? That's my watch. Oh, your watch does that? Oh, it does everything. I've burnt 724 calories. You'd think it'd been more than that. Oh, I know. So you could eat a Big Mac right now and be free. I have to Big Mac. <laughs> well, folks, I think we're calling that a day. It's been fun. I mean, really, it has been. We've seen oh, tons yeah. of birds. Oh yeah. So and it's nice we're not seeing a ton of guys. We've only seen one group of hunters, I think. Mm -hmm. I think that Chevy, I don't think he was a hunter. He he might have been, but it's been really fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I got some good footage of birds and uh, I just saw a deer uh, down the fawn back there. I was got in my video, but there's a bunch of tracks over there. Was there was there any rubs? I didn't see any. So we're gonna get them. I I really feel like tomorrow I can get one. I think it's gonna happen. But I'm still taking my bow. I'll bring someone with a shotgun just in case it don't they're not close enough. So I'll be back. Alright guys. I'll see you in the next one.